Good evening. Good evening, Fernando. Good evening, everybody. Okay, let's wait a little bit. You listen to me? Yes, teacher. All right. Very good. Now, we're going to start in a couple of minutes, okay? So let us wait a little bit for the rest. Two minutes and we will start. Okay. Hey, good evening, everybody. Good evening, uh, Daniel. Good evening. Good evening, Hola. Fernando. Good evening, Edgar. Good evening. Aníbal, good evening. Merlin, good evening. Good evening, teacher. I can see that Alisa is a listener tonight and also Jose Daniel. I hope everybody's okay. And we're going to start in a minute. Hey, tonight we have a topic that's we studied in basic English one, if I'm not mistaken, or basic English two. I don't I don't remember exactly when, but we studied this topic uh, in the past. So it won't be very difficult. Actually, there's gonna be a piece of cake, but you know we have uh, something to learn every single time we get into a class, right? So the topic may be the same. But, um, you know, we, we're going to see new new things, new expressions, new um, new verbs. We, we have a lot, of, a lot of things, a lot of things to study. Okay. So let me see. I can see Aidan, our checklist attendance. I have eight people. Hello. Aidan, how's everything? Are you okay? Aidan, is everything all right? Right. Okay, now I hope that you uh, that you can be, uh, I mean, actively participating tonight, okay? Now I can see Aníbal. Hello, Aníbal. Hi, teacher. Hi there. Now I hope anybody has any any trouble, any uh, technical problem, and that we can just um, participate a lot tonight. So Michael is just getting into the class. Hello, Michael. Good to see you here. Good to see you. Now we check list attendance in a very quick way because we have a lot of things to do tonight. Have a lot of info. A lot of people to share with you. <laughs> As always, right? <laughs> As always. <laughs> so be ready because uh, tonight I want you to be awake and why right? be ready with a cup of coffee. Okay, because tonight is going to be an excellent night. Aidan. 
List attendance, Aidan. Teacher. Hello, Belen. Daniel Enrique. Present teacher. Okay, Edgar Edilson. Good, Gladys Rubiria. Jonathan Josué. Jose Daniel. Present teacher. Juan Fernando. Present teacher. Maria Elba. Mario Cristóbal. Verenice. Merlin. Present Michael. teacher. Okay, Merlin. Michael. Present. Noé Aníbal. Present teacher. Norma Xiomara. Ronan García. Teresa María. Vera Liz. Chance Lisset. Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, as soon as possible, uh, let me see if there is somebody in the chat. That's uh, Vera Liz. Vera Liz says she's uh, listening to me. Well, as soon as possible, we're going to start because we have a lot. I will actually, do, do you have, uh, do you have, did you have homework assignments? Yes or no? I didn't assign any homework. <laughs> yes. Yeah, which one, which one? Fernando, which one? Do you remember, Fernando? Yes. <laughs> which was the homework? Uh, um, uh, write the, bueno, recitar todo lo que hicimos en la uh, fin de semana. Okay, I told you, right? Hey, uh, I want you to surprise the group on Monday, right? So you are going to tell us what you created during the weekend, right? But that is going to be later. It's going to be later. Don't worry. So let us take it easy, right? <laughs> so you know it's raining here, and hopefully we're not going to face any, any trouble. Okay, is... Let me see, you see, a lot of work to do. The topic we studied the previous time was about hotel services and amenities, right? We saw the exercise about amenities. No, we're gonna solve it now, right? So tell me, a place such as a room in a hotel where travelers can sleep and find other services are uh, amenities or accommodation? Accommodation. Accommodation. The features of the hotel that are available for guests to use, example, a gym, a pool, a mini bar, a jacuzzi, etc., are amenities Amen. or accommodation? Amenities. 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 A non smoking room means people who may smoke or people may not smoke. People may not smoke. May not smoke. Uh, people may not smoke. A shuttle service is your own transportation, transportation from the hotel. Transportation okay. from the hotel. So that's a shuttle service, right? To book a room is to read in a room or to make a reservation. To make yeah, a reservation. reservation. Ah, to make a reservation. Good. Wow, you cut most of it, right? So I really like that. I really like that. Hey, I like when you answer correctly all of the statements, all of the questions, because it means that we did a great job in the previous class. So congratulations, congrats. Amenities, okay, hotel services and amenities, the topics is almost done, right? So, but tonight we're gonna study a little about how to use the Bitcoin to structure. How to use Bitcoin to how to use be going to all right 
So this is our topic for tonight. And tomorrow we're going to be like completing this part because just right now we have a lot to work. And in order to start, in order to start, let's see this very simple conversation, right? Uh, well, the previous time or the previous, uh, give me a second, please. I'm facing problems. See. The previous class, hey, we were talking about amenities and hotel uh, services, right? So I hope that you could uh, solve all the activities, okay? That are presenting, presented in the PDF. You know, I take uh, different information from different sources, you see? Uh, vocabulary we studied the, the previous time. Shadow service, single room, wake up call, Wi-Fi internet, business center, fridge in the room, safe, and laundry service, etc. Right? So hope you could solve this because the topic for tonight is something different. Make a hotel reservation and request uh, related services. Now, do you prefer to stay in modern or antique hotels when you travel? Do you usually make a your hotel reservation or someone else does it for you? Well, I know, uh, I don't know. I don't know if there is somebody over here who stays in hotel frequently. Is there anybody here who stays in hotel frequently? How often do you stay in hotels, people? How often? How often do you stay in hotels? Hardly ever, teacher. Hardly ever, right? Hardly ever. Yeah, it's just like maybe once in the year. Mm, no how money. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, okay, we, we have no money, right? Yes, that's right. Expensive, teacher. They are very expensive. Hey, how much is it stay in a hotel? How much is it? Like 100 bucks? $100? Yes, yes. Kind of, right? Kind of. Okay, so, well, but anyway, some this topic or this information is going to help us. We don't know when we're going to use the information. Uh, uh, this information to book a hotel or to stay in a hotel. Now I have Jean and we have Gerardo, Jean and Gerardo. And as you can see, the information that's in here, the, the one that's in bold, in bold is, the, is related to the topic that we studied, uh, or that we are in charge of studying tonight, right? So when are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive. Uh, how long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay. Are you going to make the reservation? Are you going to make the reservation, etc.? What What are those expressions? They are expressions with uh, be going to structure. All right. So in Genesis, hello. Thank you for calling the Codesa Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your, your name, please? Of course, I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. Where are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make a reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. And that's the conversation, right? So, in order for you to, to get familiarized, do me the favor to read this question, please. Can somebody read the question? Can somebody read the question, please? When are you going to arrive? When are you going to arrive? Okay. Can you read this statement, please? I am going to arrive on Friday for things. 
I'm going to arrive on Friday the 14th. Can you read this, this question, please? How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? How long? How long? Okay, are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? Okay, can you read this? I'm going to stay until Monday. I'm going to stay until Monday. What about this one? Are you going to make the reservation for a single or double room? All right. Single, a single room, please. A single room, please. All right. So, well, this is just to introduce the topic. Okay. It's not that difficult. Later, you can fill uh, the form with the information from the conversation, comparing your answer with the partner. Okay. You know, agent, yes. Check in, check out. Single room, double room. Why is important? Use will life for a very polite request. Needing one are also possible, but less polite. I like, I need, I want to make a reservation. Expression that you may use when, um, when in need or when when being in church of making a reservation, a hotel reservation specifically, right? So that's important. Okay, now I have another conversation here. This is the other conversation. Okay, this is a conversation in which we're gonna work a little bit with some, uh, some information. Okay, related to hotel reservation. So we continue with it, right? So over here, we're going to listen to only. Later, we're going to see the script. But right now, we're going to we're gonna listen to and we're going to try to answer this question by only listening to the information. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Ready. Ready. Here we go. Hello, Sunnyside Inn. May I help you? Yes, I'd like to reserve a room for two on the 21st of March. Okay. Let me check our computer here for a moment. Okay. The 21st of May, right? No, March, not May. Oh, sorry. Let me see here. Hmm. Are you all booked that night? Well, we have one suite available, complete with a kitchenette and sauna bath. Okay. And the view of the city is great, too. How much is that? It's only $200 Ooh. plus a 10% room tax. Oh, that's a little too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper room available either on the 20th or the 22nd? Well, would you like a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Okay. We do have a few rooms available on the 20th. We're full on the 22nd unless you want a smoking room. Well, how much is the non-smoking room on the 20th? $80 plus the 10% mm. room tax. Okay, that'll be fine. All right. Could I have your name, please? Yes. It's Bob Maxner. How do you spell your last name, Mr. Maxner? It's M-A-E-X-N-E-R. Okay, Mr. Maxner. We look forward to seeing you on March 20th. Okay, goodbye. Simple, right? So it's over. So... I wonder if it was enough or do you need to listen to it a second time? Listen, we're gonna read the statement. We're gonna read the possible answers that we're gonna play the last time and then you are gonna tell me the answers, okay? The man finally makes a reservation for March, the 22nd, the 21st or the 20th. You will listen to it second time. What kind of room does the man prefer? A non-smoking? room, either one is okay, or a smoking room. Why doesn't he want to reserve a suite? It's too expensive. It doesn't have a nice review, a nice view. It doesn't come with a sauna bath. And the room cost plus tax, $80, $88, $96. How do you spell the man's name? So you have three options out there, Maxner, Mixner, or Maxner. That's it, right? So it's not that complicated. We're going to listen to it second time. Now, uh, but before getting to that part, now there are some other idioms over here, like, for example, roll out the red carpet. Do you know, you know the meaning of it? 
to roll out the red carpet is to give it a very special treatment to, to welcome somebody, right? To welcome guests. The nice thing about the hotel is that they always roll out the red carpet for their guests. So that's the example, right? Roll out the red carpet. 24 hours, 24 seven is like 24 hours a day. Seven days a week, the front desk is open 24 seven in case to need assistance. Okay, simple idioms are very simple and very common. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready to listen to it once again? Yeah. Okay, now pay special attention at one, at two, and at three. Here we go. Hello, Sunnyside Inn, may I help you? Yes, I'd like to reserve a room for two on the 21st of March. Okay. Let me check our computer here for a moment. Okay. The 21st of May, right? No, March, not May. Oh, sorry. Let me see here. Hmm. Are you all booked that night? Well, we have one suite available, complete with a kitchenette and sauna bath. Okay. And the view of the city is great, too. How much is that? It's only $200 Ooh. plus a 10% room tax. Oh, that's a little too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper room available, either on the 20th or the 22nd? Well, would you like a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Okay. We do have a few rooms available on the 20th. We're full on the 22nd, unless you want a smoking room. Well, how much is the non-smoking room on the 20th? $80 plus the 10% mm. room tax. Okay, that'll be fine. All right. Could I have your name, please? Yes. It's Bob Maxner. How do you spell your last name, Mr. Maxner? It's M-A-E-X-N-E-R. Okay, Mr. Maxner. We look forward to seeing you on March 20th. Okay, goodbye. All right, very good. Now, uh, listen, before continuing... Before continuing, I wonder if somebody can share the link of the class in the in the WhatsApp group. Puede alguien hacerme el favor de compartir el enlace de de la clase en el grupo de WhatsApp? Ronan está intentando ingresar y pues lamentablemente ahorita no puedo compartirlo el enlace a través de WhatsApp. Si alguien fuera tan amable y me ayudara, se los agradecería. Ronan está pendiente de entrar. Okay, so I have, for example, uh, the, the first statement, and it says the man finally makes a reservation for March. What is the answer? It's 22nd, 21st, 20th. The 21st. The 21st. The 21st, only. No, it was not the 21st. It was the 20th. When he said, okay, we do have a few uh, rooms available on the 20th. We're full on the 22nd, unless you want smoking room. Well, how much is the non-smoking room on the 20th? $80 plus the 10% room tax. Okay, that will be fine. Okay, so it's the 20th. March the 20th. Now, get concentrated, please. What kind of room does the man prefer? A non-smoking room, either one is okay or a smoking room. A non-smoking room. A non-smoking room. Oops, sorry. What did you say? A non-smoking room. So, well, that was my fault. Okay, I click in the wrong in the in the wrong one. So you were okay. Well, would you like smoking or a non-smoking room? And he said, non-smoking, please. Why doesn't he want to receive a suit? A suit? It Why? just come with. A it's too expensive. It's too expensive. Pretty oh. good. Oh, that's a little too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper room available either on the 20th <laughs> or the 22nd? The room cost plus tax. 
dollars, eighty dollars, eighty eight dollars, ninety six dollars. How much? Eighty dollars. Eighty. Eighty dollars. Eighty dollars. Eighty eight. It was eighty. They were eighty. All right. Very good. So eighty dollars plus ten percent room tax. Okay. Good. How do you spell the the the, the man's name? First, second, or third? Third. Maxner, good. M-A-E-X-N-E-R. Oh, actually, what you got like four. Once, once was my mistake. Okay, now we're gonna see the, the track. We're gonna see the script. Okay. We're gonna see the script. And we're going to study it in detail. Okay, let me see, I don't get it. Okay, for listening, I saw it here. Listening script. Now I will play it and then you are going to repeat. It's because I really like the way they pronounce the words here and everything here. Now I say hello, Sunshine In, may I help you? Now listen and repeat, please. Hello, Sunnyside In, may I help you? Uh -huh. Can somebody repeat that? Can somebody repeat that? Hello, Sunnyside In, may I help you? Hello, Sunny Sunny. May I help you? Okay. Yes, I'd like to reserve a room for two on the 21st of March. Okay. Anybody else? Hey, okay. Grand Teacher. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, Michael. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'd like to reserve a room for two on the 21st of March. Can, can you repeat that, please? Yes, I'd like to reserve a room for two on the 21st of uh, March. Uh, 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 21st. 21st of March. Yeah. Sí. Listen to the next. Let me check our computer here for a moment. Okay. The 21st of May, right? Okay, anybody else? Okay, let me check our computer here for a moment. The 21st of May, right? Okay. No, March, not May. Anybody else? No, March, no May. No, March, not May. Okay. Oh, sorry. Let me see here. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Let me see here. Mm. Okay. Let me see. Let me see if it is possible to see the whole conversation. Um, are you all booked that night? Are you all booked that night? Well, uh huh. Anybody else, please? Hello, hello. Are you all booked that night? Are you all booked that night? Well, we have one suite available, complete with a kitchenette and sauna bath. Okay. And the view of the city is great, too. Uh huh. Well, we have a one suite available, complete with kitchenette and sauna bath. And the view of the city is great. The view of the city is great. Okay, now we're gonna do something it's because I cannot I cannot have everything over here. I want now you have this vocabulary like book, you know the meaning of the word book, right? The meaning of the word book means reserve. Reserve. The meaning of the uh, the word suite. Group of connect room and hotel. At a hotel. What, what about the word kitchenette? A very small kitchen. 
a very small kitchen. Okay. Now, what are we going to do? Well, we're gonna. Uh, I will. I will share the link. Voy a voy a compartir el enlace para que ustedes lo practiquen cinco minutos. Okay. Que traten de hacerlo lo, lo que, así como él lo está hablando, tratar de pronunciarlo nosotros, ¿ok? Cinco, siete minutos máximo para que lo practiquen. Y ya luego lo vamos a volver a leer. Ahí tienen el enlace. Siete minutos, ¿ok? Exacto, exacto. Y de ahí, práctica de cómo pronunciar. Ok, me de minutos hoy.
Okay, I think you have had enough time. And now, yes, right. So let me see. We're gonna we're gonna see the conversation once again. And now, can somebody read this, please? Just try. Try to do it the way you heard in the conversation, please. Anybody in the group? Me, teacher? Please, 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 anybody. Okay. Hello, Senisai, in May I can help you? May I help you? May I help you? May so, I help you? Okay, anybody else? Yes, I like to reserve a room for two on the 21st of March. Okay. Okay, let me check our computer here for a moment. The 21st of May, right? Uh -huh. No, March. No, March, no May. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Let me see here. Okay. Are you all booked that night? Are you all booked that night? Book now. Book. La, listen, 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 listen. It's because, you know, ¿cómo pronuncian este verbo en pasado? Book. Esto suena como teo. De acuerdo a lo que le a lo que aprendimos en la clase de sonidos de, de verbos regulares, ¿sí o no? Suena yes. como una T. Y okay, como suena como una T y aquí tenemos otra T, entonces va, esto va a sonar como una sola palabra. O sea, book that night, book that night. Book that ok. Night. So, no es que vamos a decir book y de ahí that night, no. Como que esto fuera una sola T. Una sola. Book that okay. night, book that night. Vamos a escuchar otra vez. Are you all booked at night? Good. Now that's that's better. Now vamos a retrocederlo un poquito. Computer here for a moment. Okay. The 21st of May, right? No, March, not May. Oh, sorry. Let me see here. Hmm. Are you all booked that night? Okay. Well, we have one suite available. Now you got it, right? Si lo escucharon. Yes. Okay, now, what about here? Anybody else here, please? Anybody else here, please? Well, we had one suite of ally available, complete with a kitchenette and a sauna bath. And the view of the city is great, too. Okay. How much is that? It's only $200 plus a 10% room tax. Right. Oh, that's a little too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper room available either in the 20, 20th for or the 22nd? Okay, the word is available. Avail available. Available. Yeah. Available. What about this? Well, would you like a smoking or non-smoking room? Okay, now listen carefully. Would you like a smoking? Would you like a smoking? Would you like a smoking? No, a smoking. No. Would you like a smoking? Would you like a... A smoking. Uh -huh. Would no, you like a it. smoking? <laughs> no, listen, listen. listen. Would you like a smoking? Okay. Would you like a smoking? Yeah, that, that, that sounds better, right? And we like that. Would you like a smoking or a non smoking room? Uh huh. What about the next? Non, non smoking, please. Non smoking, please. Okay. We don't have a few rooms available. Available. <laughs> <me> travel. Available. <laughs> available on the twentieth. We're full on the twenty second. <laughs> Unless you want a smoking room. Okay. 
Well, how much is the non smoking room on the 20s? $80 plus the 10% room tax. All right. Okay, that will be fine. That will be fine. All right. Could I have your name, please? Good. Yes, Bob Maxner. How do you spell your last name, Mr. Maxner? How do you spell? How do you spell? Okay. M A A E X N E R. Okay, Mr. Maxner, we look forward to seeing to seeing you on March twentieth. Okay, yeah. goodbye. Twentieth. Okay, good. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Now, you see, every single time we practice a, a conversation or some vocabulary. Um, it seems as if, as if you like improve your English, and that's that's what I, I'm looking for. So, eso es justamente lo que buscamos, que like ustedes practiquen y que mejor. Now, over here, there's another conversation, but in this conversation, uh, we have something related to to the be going to be going to right so we're gonna listen to only the you have we have like two two conversations okay we are not gonna go deeply on the exercise itself on the grammar and the quiz no it's because you know we're gonna be like playing with both uh, web pages okay so that we can get like a very general idea about what we're starting to learn. listen Conversation one. What are you going to do for summer break? I'm going to study Spanish in Spain. Nice. Where are you going to study? I'm not going to take any classes. I'm just going to live there and learn the language. Good idea. You're going to learn a lot. I hope so. I'm going to really focus on learning Spanish naturally. Every day, I'm going to try to talk to as many people as I can. Conversation, Conversation number two. two. When are you going to mail this? It's due next week. I'm going to do it tomorrow when I go to the post office. How are you going to send it? By express mail or local mail? I'm going to send it by local mail. Why? It's going to take forever to get there. But it's still going to get there in time, and it's going to save money. Well, if it doesn't, you're going to regret it. Just relax. It's not going to be late. Trust me. All right. So we have more conversation or more expression with the, uh, with the be going to uh, topic. Okay. And in order to start directly with it, vamos a empezar ya con el tema. And see if it's going to. Okay, we have some questions in here. Okay. And I just want I, I just want to know if you remember about the topic, okay? Solo quiero saber que tanto se recuerdan de esta estructura. Aquí van a ver algunas preguntas y automáticamente alguien las responde. Para no más ver la carta, okay? Here we go. How do you respond or how do you answer to that question? I have three pets. I am going to have three pets. I'm going to have three pets. And Merlin, what do you say? I'm going to have three pets. I am going to have three pets. Good. Next one. When are you going to move? Aha. Uh -huh. When are you going to move? How do you answer to that question? I am going to move tomorrow at night. Oh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna move tomorrow at night. Next question. Somebody who read the question. 
Where are you going to put for the Thanksgiving? What are you going to put for Thanksgiving? Anybody? Uh, are, are going to cook uh, turkey. I'm going to cook turkey. Okay, good. I'm going to cook turkey. Next one. Are right, you you going to live to live next year? We're gonna live next year. How do you answer that one? Anybody? Where are you gonna live next year? I'm going. I'm going to to. In the same uh, uh, in el mismo lugar. I'm gonna amigo. live next year I'm gonna live in the same place I live now. Now mm -hmm. remember that the expression is I'm I'm going to yeah. live in mm -hmm. the same place or in the uh, same, same place. Yeah, same neighborhood I live now. I'm going. Yeah, I, it is not I, right? So this is the thing. I'm. Yeah, that's an existing. Okay, but I'm. I'm. Uh huh. So I'm. let's let's see the next one. Okay, let's see the next. Uh huh. I'm I'm going to take vacation on the river. I'm gonna take some vacations in the river. Next one. Where are you gonna eat for dinner? I go I'm going to eat a dinner beans and rice. Okay. Oh it's <laughs> this is the last one. How long are you going to stay in America? Mm, all the life. <laughs> all going... life long. Okay, I'm going to stay yeah. here my whole life. Okay? okay? Okay. Now, this is just for you to get familiarized with the topic. Now, in the topic we're gonna we're gonna study tonight, we have the following. So well, no, this is the exercise. I'm sorry, I will stop uh, sharing this, and I will share a presentation I have here. I think I will start with this one. Oh, can you see the information, people? Yes. No. No, yes. Can you see the presentation? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yeah, the topic is becoming two, right? So the topic that we studied previously, okay, this is like second time we, we're gonna go over it, okay? And now there's a usage, usage. There is something that we need to be aware about it. Now, when do we use it, people? Can somebody read it? We use the going to for intention and decision for prediction. Okay. Now, let's see the sentence. Now, we're going to see some sentences, right? So, we use it for intentions and decisions or for prediction. Actually, uh, because to is also used to talk about fixed plans. Fixed plans. That's it. So we have some affirmative sentences such as, such as, I am going to be a doctor. Where is that? He is going to buy a new car. You are going to build new houses. We are going to join the party. Attention, don't forget to use the verb be 
uh, or the, the, the big form of the verbs and be careful with am is on. Okay. Am is on. Be careful with it, right? So I'm going to, going to, and then you have be. He is going to, then you have buy. Are going to, and you have be out. So you see that is the base form. Are going to join. Okay. Now, negative statements, where the only thing you're going to do to make negative statements? Well, you have the word not here. Isn't here. Isn't, once again. Are negative form. Okay. I'm not going to have an exam. He isn't going to go to the cinema. Mary isn't going to finish a project. They aren't going to come early tonight. Okay. So the same happens over here. You use I'm not going to, plus a verb in the base form. Teaching it isn't going to, and the base form of a verb. We, you, they aren't going to, and the base form of a verb. Simple like that, right? Actually, this is, as I told you, this is the second time we started the going to, and I hope you don't, you're not going to have any problem with it. Questions. Okay, now, you know, we have just no questions, and we also have um, double edged questions. But the ones that we have here are the verb to be, subject pronoun, going to, complement, I, I mean, the verb in the base form, a complement, and the question mark. Are you gonna watch the car? Is it going to climb a mountain? Are they going to clean all the rooms? Is John going to join the club? Okay. So it's like see, very simple, right? So creating yes, no question with the word or with the expression be going to. But you know, we have also some other. Uh, uh, statements, okay, you have uh, some exercises over here in order to make it uh, positive, make positive sentences. I, what's missing there? I'm I going, going to, to visit. Excellent. I'm going to visit Taki next summer. Number two, she come with us tomorrow. She is going to Come. She's going to come with us tomorrow. Number three. We are going to have a meeting tomorrow. We're going to have a meeting tomorrow. Number four. The, they. They are. Yeah. They are going to wash. They close. Her clothes. Very good. You dance with her. Mm -hmm. You are going to dance yeah. with her. Mm -hmm. You want to dance with her. Good. Now there are some answers. Okay. Now I'm going to visit Turkey next summer. She's going to come with us tomorrow. We're going to have a meeting tomorrow. They are going to wash their clothes and you are going to dance with her. Exactly what you said, right? So you see. In the next one, we have some uh, negative statements, okay? They travel by motorbike tomorrow. Negative statements. Negative statements. They are not going to travel by motorbike tomorrow. The motorbike tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, number two. He is not going to make a cake next week. He's not going to make a uh -huh. cake next week. Number three. Number Don't, three. Tom is not. Is not going to search to search 
his homework on net. On net. Number four. I is. I. Is not. Is not going to visit Istanbul next summer. Okay, number five. So I'm married next month. Sam is not going to marry next month. And the last one, my father called my teacher tonight. My father is not going to call my teacher tonight. Good, pretty good. So you have the answer there, right? They are going to travel by motorbike tomorrow. He isn't going to make a uh, cake next week. Tom isn't going to put his number on net. I isn't going to be to stumble next summer. Tom isn't going to marry next month. My father isn't going to call my teacher tonight. Good. Now there are some other questions, right? So annoying here. Are you going to go tonight? If you answer yes, just what? If somebody asks you, hey, are you going to go tonight? How do you answer? Yes, I'm going to. Yes, I'm going to. No, I mean, so do you use only yes, comma? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Now, if you want, if you want to continue, I'm going to go with you tonight. Okay. Or you may say, yes, period. By the formula, punto. I'm going to go with you tonight. Pero después del punto. Okay. Pero si solo va a contestar de manera corta, yes, I am. Con eso es suficiente. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not. Are you going to watch uh, Avatar? No. Yeah. No? No, I am I am not. not. No, I am not, right? Is he going to learn Turkish? Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. That means because you were talking about she, right? Yes, she is. Yes, yeah, she is. Are you going to visit London? No. no Are you going to visit London? No, I am not. Are you going to study tonight? <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, yes, I am. I am right. Are you going to work in the platform? Yes, I am. Yes, uh, I, am. I will see it yes. later, Michael. Yes, I am. Okay, I will see it in the platform later. Okay, very good. Now, so you see, this is very simple, right? I think now you have the, 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 the answers there. Now you see, yes, I am going to go tonight. No, I am not going to go to watch Avatar. Yes, she is going to learn Turkish. No, I'm not going to visit London. Yes, I am going to study tonight. So those are possible answers, right? Now we're gonna we're gonna uh, finish over here, okay? But uh, I will stop sharing this and I will show you another one that I have here, which is also important, okay? Because it's a way we create a we. Uh, build sentences with the going to. So we're going to, we continue with it. Now, as you can see, we form the be going to a uh, sentences or expression by having what? By having the verb to be um, is an R. So you see, after that, what are you going to include? You're going to include going to. After going to, what are you going to have? Base form of a verb. And after that, a complement. It's simple like that, right? I am going to, he is going to, uh, they are going to, etc. 
Then, in the negative form, as we saw in the previous uh, presentation, the only thing we're going to include in order to make statements negative is the word not. And as you know, this can be contracted. And you may say, I'm not, he is not, or he isn't, she is not, or she isn't, you are not, or you aren't. Okay, going to be for mother bear in the company. That's for the negative statement. We have questions, and in the question forms, we're going to have the verb to be at the beginning, like the one that you see on here, am, um, is, are. Am I, am I going to watch TV? Is she going to watch TV? Are they going to watch TV, et cetera, right? Simple, simple, simple. Just no question. Now we have double H. In the double H questions, you know, the first thing that you need to include is a double H question word such as when, where to be, where to be, for to be present, right? When am I going to watch TV? When is he going to watch TV? When are you going to watch TV, etc. right? When, how long, how much time are you going to spend there? Well, we, we have a lot of, a lot of questions with, a, a lot of double H questions with the going to, and that's it, people, okay? No more than that. Now, questions about the verb be. You know, we read that the verb be is used to talk about fixed plans, for intentions, and for um, predictions, right? So predictions is the same. Predictions, yeah. So we studied that, and now we're going to practice a little bit. After this exercise, do we create something? So you have it over here. Now there are some verbs over here such as a barrow not pay, uh, crash, not win, have, fly, not read, not believe, be, and not argue. Okay, now what are we going to do? Well, I will share the link. Voy a compartir el enlace. Tengo 10 oraciones. Vamos a, vamos a invertir 10 minutos. Pero ustedes lo van a resolver en la página en sí. Y ya luego nos van a compartir. Yo voy a elegir a dos personas que nos compartan cómo se resuelven estos ejercicios. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo se resuelven estos ejercicios? Yo creo que no se van a estar ni los 10 minutos. A los 7 minutos yo voy a empezar a preguntar. ¿Ok? So ahí tienen el enlace. Ya luego nos okay. explican cómo se resuelve este ejercicio. Este quiero ver el anterior. No, let's start with this one. Vamos a empezar con él. ¿Ok? Las 7 minutos. Ya luego ustedes nos explican en inglés, por supuesto, cómo se resuelve.
Okay, is there anybody ready? Is there anybody ready? <clears throat> Um, Merlin. In the first, uh, is is I'm I'm going to mm, borrow. I, yeah. I'm going to. Bo I am. I, I, I am, am going to borrow. Going to borrow some books from the library today. Okay. Number two. Mm. He is not going mm -hmm. to pay your money, but your money. He's not going to pay your money back. Oops, you not pay still there, right? Pay your money back. Number three. The drone is out of control. It is going to crash. It is going to crash. Crash. Okay. Then we have number four. They aren't playing well. They are not going to win. They're going to win. They're not going to win. We. We are going to have. We're going to have a picnic tomorrow. She. She is going to fly to New York next week. She's going to fly to New York next week. Seven. I am not going to read all right number eight not believe but not you are not feeling but you, you are, are not, not going and they're not going to believe. believe. You're not going to believe. Because You're not going to believe me, right? It is. It is going to. That's not going to believe me. It is going to. It is going to be a beautiful day. It's going to be a beautiful day. And the last one? I'm not going to argue. Mm -hmm. I am not going to argue. Argue, you argue, argue, right? You argue. argue. Argue with you. Now we will see the answers. Oh, well, okay. actually, you, we got a 10. Very good. Right? Our score is 100%. Pretty good. Pretty good. So I think we don't have a lot of troubles with it, right? So let me see. We still have like 20 minutes. Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna do it only orally. No lo vamos a digitar. Solo quiero que me lo digan como quedan. Number one. He's going to he is going to phone his friend. He's going to phone his friend. Number two. 
we are going to uh, uh, play a new computer game. We are going to play a new computer game. Number three. My sister is going to watch TV. My sister is going to watch TV. Number four. You are going to have a picnic, picnic next Tuesday. You're going to have a picnic next Tuesday. Number five. James, James is, is going to, to go to the office. James is going to go to the office. Number six, to work. They are going to, to work to work to the bus stop the last time. All right, number seven. His brother. To write. His brother to write. He's, he's going to. Yeah, tell me his brother is going to what? His uncle today. His brother. Is to going to. Is to going to or is going no. to only? Is going to. Is going to write a letter to his uncle today. Number eight. She She's going to visit her, her aunt. aunt. Number aunt. nine. I'm going to my homework. I am, I am going to do. I, I am going, going to, to do my homework my after home. school. And Sophie and Nick are going to, going to meet. Are meet. going to meet. Are going to meet. All right. Now we're going to see the answers. I think, yeah. So you see, there's not any trouble with it. So, fortunately, we're not having any problem with be going to structures. Okay. And let me see. Oh, yeah. So over here is where we're going to, uh, we're going to create some, some, some conversations, right? So here you have some examples about some questions that you may ask in a conversation. What are you gonna do with your life? Don't you think it's a good one? Now I think I think it's better if you if you create a speech with this with this sentence or with these questions. Okay, van a trabajar respondiendo estas preguntas y ya luego nos hacen una pequeña presentación de lo de sus respuestas. What are you going to do with your life? What are you going to do after this class? What are you going to do for your next holiday? What are you going to, what are you going to meet? Oh, are you going to meet anyone at the weekend? Are you going to watch the television tonight? What book are you going to read next, etc. So the link is the following. Okay. So if you want to include some more info about you, that would be right. Okay, tienen dos opciones. Okay, students A, students B. What hairstyle are you going to have next? What are you going to have for lunch, dinner? What are you going to do on your next birthday? Where are you going to get better, uh, uh, get better at speaking English, etc. So do me the favor to answer these questions and try to get like a small, uh, uh, like, like a speech. Uh, uh, a small this is a short practice, create us. Maybe like a short speech, like two minutes would be all right. Estamos claros con lo que vamos a hacer? Yes, teacher. Yeah, all right. So later, Usted va a elegir a alguien del grupo luego, después que termine su speech, de lo que van a responder acá, elija a alguien del grupo a quien le va a hacer. Va a elegir cinco preguntas y van a hacer una pequeña conversación simultánea. ¿Ok? Ok. Por de pronto, deben crear un pequeño speech con estas preguntas. Okay, I will give you, yeah, seven minutes will be all right, seven, siete minutos. Then I will get back.
Oke. Okay. 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 Okay, let me know when you are ready so that I can see it. it's time to start with the presentations. Okay, and with some conversations.
Let me know when you get ready. Okay, I'm waiting for your response. Okay, whenever you tell me you're ready, we're gonna start. Okay, now I think you have had enough time. Okay, now let me see. Aidan, do you have, are you ready, Aidan? Yes, I'm ready. Excellent. So go ahead, please. I will stop sharing this. Okay, Aidan, time for you to put into practice what you've learned. What are you going to do with your life? I am going to a better father and husband. Second, what are you going to do after this class? I'm going to sleep. What are you going to do for your next holiday? I'm going to a beach with my family. 
Are you going to meet uh, anyone at the weekend? Are you not going to? Are you going to watch television tonight? Yes, I'm going to. What book are you going to read next? I'm going to read a holy Bible. When are you going to give, give up your bad, bad habit? I'm going to give, give, give up the last week. And night, where in the world are you going to travel? I'm going to travel to Spain. Are you going to play and video game games later today? No, I'm going to. This is a uh, answering teacher. Okay, thank you, Aidan. Later, we're going to have some review about the performance of everybody here. Daniel? After Daniel, Michael, after Michael, Aníbal. Okay. <clears throat> what are you going to do with your life? I am going to a good English student. What are you going to do after this class? I am going to bed. Where are you going to go for your next holiday? I am going to go to Mexico next holiday. Are you going to meet anyone at the weekend? No, I am not going to meet anyone at the weekend. Are you going to are you going to watch television tonight? No, I am not going to watch television tonight. What book are you going to read next? I am going to read the history of the little prince. And when are you going to give up your bad habits? I am going to leave my bad habits immediately. What's the next big decision you're going to make? Eh, eh, no he pensado todavía, pero... <laughs> Quiero ver... Me debe ser la edad de pendiente. Pero, where in the world are you going to travel? I am going to travel to uh, Amer North America. Are you going to play any video games later night today? No, I am not. I am not going to play any video games later today. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Michael. Yes, teacher. Eh, bueno, no los pude terminar porque me sacó el sistema, pero igual solo cinco le pude hacer. Porque, eh, sería the one is what are you going to do with your life? Eh, the answer is I'm going to I'm going to try to travel around the world. Eh, the second what are you going to after this class? I'm going to do my homework. And uh, third, where are you going to go for your next holiday? I'm not I'm not going to go anywhere. I stay at home. And the fourth, are you going to meet anyone at the weekend? Uh, yes, I'm going to meet anyone at the weekend. And are you going to watch television tonight? I no, I I don't go into watch television because I have dreams. Uh, and that's it, teacher. All right, pretty good, Aniva. Okay, teacher. Eh, unas cuantas también porque no, no terminé. Okay. Eh, what are you going to do uh, with your life? Eh, yes, I am going to study English. 
Uh, where are you going to after this class? Uh, yes, I am going to sleep. Uh, where where are you going to go for your next holidays? Uh, yes, I am. Uh, going to beach El Tunco. <laughs> are you going to meet uh, anyone of the weekend? Uh, yes, I am going to meet friends. Are you going to watch television tonight? Uh, yes, I am going to watch television tonight. Uh, what, what book uh, are you going to read, read next? Uh, yes, I'm going to visit uh, this uh, people. Where, where are you going to give up uh, your bad habits? Yes, I am going to learn good habits. Uh, only teacher. All right, cool. Now, anybody else in the group? Anybody else who wants to participate? Anybody else in the group? Alguien más que quiera participar? Yes, teacher. Okay, Fernando, go ahead. Okay, what? Our prepared uh, conversation. Um, moment. Okay. One moment, please. Hice una conversación, teacher, pero con todas las palabras, con siete más, más que todo, como preguntándome a mí mismo. All right. Okay. Oh, is he? Very well, Fernando. Now that we have some free time, it is time to think about several. This, this thing in your life, we, we have a long way to go. But let's start. It's ready on 2023 and the question coming to mind. We are going to which your life are going to cook better. Also, what are you going to after this class? Are going to for work with my dog. In September is coming. I'm wondering. We are going to go to for the next holidays. Are you going to visit the town the next week? Are you going to meet any more at the weekend? Not are going to meet any more. In the, in the next class, are you going to watch television tonight? Yes. Are you going to watch TV? You forgot you forgot bad books. And what book are you going to read next? Are uh, are, are going to read the uh, Carabajo Negro? It's, it's also a teacher. Okay, thank you, Fernando. Now, listen, you know, uh, well, um, unfortunately, two hours are almost gone. Okay, but uh, something that I want you to remember is about the final exam that you have in the platform. Okay? Recuérdense que estamos al cierre prácticamente de este nivel y que hay que completar las actividades de la plataforma. Eh, la actividad de esta semana es el examen final, y por ende, pues, mientras yo paso la lista, ustedes ingresen, por favor, a la plataforma y completen la primera parte del de examen, ¿ok? 
si alguien lo va a completar al 100%, pues háganlo, asegúrense de obtener excelentes resultados, pues prácticamente es la última actividad evaluada en el sistema. Ahora, para la última sesión, eh, necesitaría, como siempre, que ustedes preparen algo que nazca de su creatividad respecto a las actividades y a los temas que hemos estado desarrollando. ¿Ok? Pueden contarnos una historia, hacer un pequeño speech. Pueden este, hacer una PowerPoint en donde nos presenten qué es lo más significativo del tercer nivel que a ustedes pues se lo van a llevar para el siguiente nivel y que es algo que nunca van a olvidar. Yo pues, según, según lo vivido, Pude notar que a lo mejor fueron los Passive Boys la que nos dio un poquito de, de trabajo, ¿verdad? Passive Boys. Yeah. Y, que, y que de hecho, pues Passive Boys apenas y le, y, le, y le arrancamos un pelito de la cabeza al tema. Porque hay más, hay mucho más de Passive Boys. Ok, pero pues ya iniciamos, ¿verdad? Con ese tema. Pero sería bueno que... En la última sesión ya ustedes nos, nos hagan una pequeña presentación de qué fue lo más significativo de este nivel. ¿Ok? ¿Qué es lo, aquello que ustedes dicen? ¡Wow! Pues el, el nivel 3 valió la pena por... Y ahí le pongo punto suspensivo para que ustedes lo completen la frase y nos hagan una presentación. A lo mejor alguien le cautivó mucho más la pronunciación de cómo abordamos pronunciación, o alguien más le pudo abordar, le pudo, le pudo este, impactar más como los temas gramaticales, alguien más por ahí pudiera pues, eh, haber notado como un poquito más el vocabulario, etc. Pero ya ustedes sabrán cómo nos van a presentar como lo más significativo para usted del tercer nivel del básico del nivel básico ok, so voy a pasar lista mientras yo hago eso ustedes trabajan en la plataforma Eiran okay, okay, Belén Daniel present teacher Edgar el, Edilson. Present teacher. Clarice. Present teacher. Excelente. Jonathan Josué. José Daniel. Present teacher. Juan Fernando. Present teacher. María Elba. Mario Cristóbal. Berenice, Merlin, Michael, present teacher, okay, yes, teacher. okay. Aníbal, yeah. okay, Michael, Aníbal, are you there? Present, present. Okay, Norma Xiomara, Ronald and Norma is there. Very good. Ronald. Teresa. Vera Liz. And Jansi. Let me check the chat. Okay. Vera Liz is a listener. Ronald also is a listener. Good. So do me the favor to work on it, people. Okay, we still have like seven minutes. And if you have any trouble, just let me know. If you want to comment something, you can also take some time to share what you think 
or to provide some feedback about the, the class. Okay, the class, about the curse in general. So, you know, remember, it's very important for us to know about what you think. Teacher, cuando se use, la pregunta es con going to, siempre se responde con going to. Okay, Michael, yes. Si le hacen la, si le hacen la, la pregunta, are you going to study tonight? Si ustedes se fijan, es más una yes, no question, ¿verdad? Are you going to study tonight? Y se lo están haciendo con prácticamente con be going to. Entonces, cuando le hacen una yes, no question con be going to, usted responde con eh, yes, are you going to study tonight? Yes, I am. Or no, I am not. ¿Ok? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Pero si usted quiere a, a, como hacer un poquito más larga la respuesta, usted dice, yes, I am. Punto. I'm going to study tonight because tomorrow I have an exam. ¿Ok? Si ustedes se fijan, la respuesta es, yes, I am. Sí, lo haré. ¿Ok? Y ya luego, punto. Y dice, yo voy a estudiar porque mañana tengo un examen. Entonces ya usted aclara, ya usted da más información. Eh, ¿Es una yes no question? Sí. ¿Es una, ¿Es una pregunta cerrada? Sí. Porque él solo le pregunta, ¿Are you going to study tonight? ¿Vas a estudiar esta noche? Usted puede decir, sí, lo haré. Yes, I am. O no, I am not. Y dejarlo así. Pero si usted quiere aclarar, o por qué va a estudiar, entonces usted le añade. Uh, diferente es cuando le pregunta a Michael, why are you going to study tonight? Que es mucho más directo, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué vas a estudiar esta noche? Ah, uh, well, I'm going to study tonight because I have an exam in the English platform at Inglés Corporativo. ¿Ok? Tengo, oh, esta noche yo voy a estudiar porque tengo un examen en la plataforma de inglés corporativo. Ok. Why? Recuerde que hay preguntas cerradas y preguntas abiertas. How long are you going to stay in the class? ¿Cuánto tiempo te vas a quedar en la clase? Bueno, 120 minutos. I'm going to stay here for 120 minutes. How long? Why? When? Where? Eh, con cada una de esas frases, con cada una de esas double H question words, usted puede crear una pregunta con going to. Y esas ya son preguntas abiertas. Michael. ¿Tiene ya esa your question, Michael? ¿Les respondí? Yes, teacher. Yes. Ok, ok, very good. Any other question, any other comment? Teacher, en la plataforma con esta de el going to con las preguntas, con las cinco preguntas, hay una que no me da, no sé por qué, que dice you, you are going to have. We're going to have. You are going to have a next picnic. Eh, en las cinco que, que se hacen en la plataforma. Yes. <risa> Give me a second. I will, check. I will check it. Lo vamos a chequear. Me están diciendo de, del final test. No. No, oh, no, no, no en el final test. No, no. la tarea de 17. Ah, ok, veámoslo. Bumble 17. Ok, so, but that's, that is for tomorrow, right? Eso, <laughs> eso lo vamos a aclarar mañana, ok. Ok. ¿Qué número okay. dicen en la 5? En la de donde dice Jane. 444. A number four, when they say you are picnic next Tuesday to have. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna check it uh, tomorrow, right? Pero si ustedes se fijan es una es una una oración positiva, entonces no le veo el problema. Es que le ponemos, you are going to, to have. Ajá. 
pero no nos da, o sea, me, me, la, me sale como mala. You are going to have a picnic next Tuesday. Ok. No, pero así tendría que ser. Uh, yo, yo, yo creo que a todos no nos da porque están poniendo ya que no acepta. <risa> okay. bueno, ¿por, ¿Por qué no? Por... O es del test que, que así es. <risa> oh, espérame, espérame. Let me see. No, esta no es tricky. Quiero ver acá. En la tarea 17 no la acepta. Prueben. Así sería la respuesta. You are going to have. Sí sería, pero no, 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 no nos da. Ah, bueno, entonces. Mmm, bueno, vamos a probar. Vamos, a, vamos sí. a probar mañana y si no nos da, pues la vamos a reportar como error porque así tendría que ser, ¿ok? Como okay. error de plataforma. Ok. Así que no, no, no se preocupen por eso. Well, we're going to stop it right here. Sorry? Así es, ya me dio, así es. Ah, ok, José, you see? Ya ven que sí, así es la, la, la actividad. Algo, fíjense bien en, en el deletreo. Pues la verdad, sí, no, no comprendo por qué no les había dado. Pero de igual manera, mañana lo vemos, ok? Ok. Ok, see you tomorrow, people. Hey, lo felicito porque, bueno, en realidad siempre me gusta decirles que se vayan autoevaluando, aunque ya no estén conmigo eh, y estén con otro teacher, sepan que algo, algo sumamente importante es que ustedes estén autoevaluando todos los días, todas las noches. Y ahora que me llevé de esta clase, vimos el going to, pero ya lo habíamos visto, casi no me costó. Eh, pues repasé, sentí que avancé, sentí que no avancé mucho. O puede ser poco, puede ser más o menos, o puede ser mucho, ¿verdad? Ahí cada quien vaya autoevaluándose. Porque cuando nos autoevaluamos y vamos viendo, digamos, el progreso de básico 1 a básico 3, entonces tenemos que ver avances. Ya pasaron tres meses, ¿verdad? Tres meses y tres meses, pues no es poco. Eh, para aprender un idioma, pues en realidad requeriríamos de más tiempo, pero los avances sí tienen que estar ahí, sí o sí. Y lo más importante que yo siempre les digo, usted le pone el límite al aprendizaje, usted, nosotros los instructores, no. Usted le pone el límite a su aprendizaje. Mientras más aprendan, nosotros vamos a estar más contentos. ¿Ok? Así que nos vemos mañana y que Dios les guarde y nos vemos en la clase. Primero Dios. Ok, good night. Good night. Okay, good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night, teacher. And... Good night, everyone.